Hey, what's up? It's your boy Juice with another episode of Juice Jones Creates. It's just my rants, honestly, quite honestly. It's uh, episode number three. So let's talk about what I've been up to and how I made my way back to the camera. So we're about to end the month of February, month of love, shortest month in the year, Black History Month. You always know we keep it blackity black. And we're going into March. So between the last, <clears throat> I'd say about... 20 days i've released a little bit under 25 to 36 videos worth of content when it comes to mental health if you build it business and shows and mental health shows within the community my overall community around me and it dawned on me hey you might be giving them too much and it's okay to cut back and what does that look like on this platform called youtube so it was like a whole bunch of strategies going through videos, reaching out to a couple of folks with similar channels, reaching out to people who I not only admire, but I've gotten a chance to like study a lot of their work. And I thought to myself, you need to carve out your lane. That's not just in your name, like in your name, in terms of people know who you are because of the introductions, people know who you are because of the events that you put together. People know who you are because they've pieced, pieced, pieced things together when it comes to the videos that we've released. And when it comes to batch content and so much more, I, I've said this quite often within the last three weeks, but it's so important to take care of the writing portion of everything that we release. Now, hear me out. What's trending right now when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to anything that's social media related, everyone is saying batch your content. And for anyone who doesn't know, batching your content is when you shoot a certain amount of content. So let's say you shoot about two hours of content. And out of that two hours of content that's shot, you break that content into pieces. And within each part of that batch content, you are now putting out lessons that people need and people can learn from. What a lot of folks don't tell you is there's so much writing that's involved every time you batch content. Now, for a lot of folks, they're like, hey, just put the title and that's it. And it's like, yeah, that's true. That works. But after people get the title and they sit down and watch your video, they're going to want the explanation as to, OK, now that I watch this and it lines up with the title, what do you want me to take away from it? And the reason this is significant is because, as you and I know, YouTube has started started the YouTube Shorts program for about, I'd say, a year and it's the end of February going into March. So about a year and five months now. And I have three videos that have done extremely well on that platform. There was like one video that got me like 363 views. There was another video that had about, I think it was like 212 views. And then there was another random gym video that doesn't even line up with my content. Cause every Friday I release a gym video of just being in the gym. Cause I'm looking to habitually get back in the gym once a week. Well, not once a week. I get back in the gym three times a week, but I put out a video for once a week. That's just like either a culmination of what I do or just encouragement of, hey guys, let's get back to this. And that one video is at a thousand views. So when I saw that video was at a thousand views, I was like, damn, this video does not line up with the content that I've put out, but it's done well, which means there's reach. There were a couple of likes, people um, lined into it. But when I looked at what was posted on the rest of the video and you'll come to find this out when it comes to shorts that's posted directly from your phone you get a chance to put the title up but there's no description so let's say someone wanted to go through my page and they run into a whole bunch of mental health content they won't think to themselves oh he does this video once a week since the beginning of the year. So now that we're in the sixth to seventh to eighth week, that's how many counts it should be at. So I have to go through the content to find it. They won't know that unless you give the description of, hey, I do these videos once a week because I'm looking to get back in shape. If you do mental health content, like the content that I do when it comes to Mental Health Monday, which that's built on community in terms of those in the actual community that deal with what's going on when it comes to depression, anxiety, ADHD, emotional intelligence, and a couple other things that we're going to be mixing in there. Therapists in terms of being a professional therapist, um, the work behind being a therapist, where their encouragements come from, and what kind of foundations are they laying down in order to make a better world outside of just their work or wellness, which is, you know, sound bowl therapy, yoga, um, <clears throat> marijuana. That's also another form of wellness that I've been exploring. And I've had the right groups of people around me 
unless you put those foundations in your description, a lot of people, after they view your video, after they give things a chance, they're not going to be able to go and find very specific things. And I do a great job of playlists and organizing everything else, but without the language, none of your content will matter. So even if you're putting on a whole bunch of content and there are people that it is helping, you're supposed to maximize every single chance that piece of content has when it gets on the screen, when it's in the queue trying to develop, when it's you're doing the cuts and you're lining up the hashtags and everything else. So I found that very fascinating because when I put a video up, the video isn't up in order to go viral or, or in order to go to get a bunch of views. Any video I put up, it's trying to add value to the community. Hopefully it comes across the right person and it reaches the right crowd and they're all, they're able to either learn or pass it on to someone else. So when it comes to batching the content, because I've batched a lot of content and what's ironic is most of everything that I have shot, I've started shooting it, shooting it since last summer, but I never, the focus was never to batch content. The focus was me as an owner of a small business when it comes to the production company and the things that we're working on. How can I maximize the efforts of all the content that I'm creating and how do I create opportunities for myself to step away from the laptop outside of what I'm working on to reinforce the things that I'm either preaching or teaching people about in real life and maximizing those opportunities right now? Because I started with a team of about eight to five of us. Now it's just me and my editor, Marcus. Shout out to Marcus doing a great job and across the board i gotta always remind myself hey are we creating the best opportunities is our self-care where it needs to be and are we executing the likeness that we would want to add on to the brand or the opportunities that we want we would want to add into other circles so I think this is episode three, if I'm not mistaken. I'm really, I really want to get more consistent with this. I actually was going to do a number three last week with my boy Trev, but <laughs> tried to get on YouTube live. We found out that there's like a certain circle. Well, not certain circle. There's like a certain limit of subscribers that you need to have on your YouTube live in order to go on your YouTube live from your cell phone. And it was like, hey, let's just take it to IG live. We could always run this back and like come some other time. And he has a great channel. If you guys ever want to check it out, I'm pretty sure that I have it at the bottom in the queue when it comes to like all channels that I frequent with when it comes to this channel. So in the meantime, if you're batching content, focus on the writing portion. That's so important outside of what's already shot. Focus on the lesson, maximizing whatever you're giving to them. And not everything needs to be in layman's terms, but it is very helpful if you write things out so people understand what they want to get away from this piece of content that you put out there. And then after they get what they want, they may have a better reason to return to your channel. Say, hey, what's up? How you been? I love what you've been doing, so I'm going to pay attention from now on because when it comes to this YouTube game and everything that we're doing on this side, it's about the retention, but retention comes from value and you give people value by caring about the product that you're putting out. So right now, I'm not here for immediate. I know this is going to take some time. I started this channel about last, <clears throat> not a year before last in November, October, November. And I mean, up to this point, I think I'm at 78, 79 subscribers, which isn't bad because I wasn't taking the channel seriously because I was focused on everything else. But I was like, nah, this is a great place. We could house the channel. We have three documentaries we're going to be working on and releasing throughout the year. We have 12 photo shoots that we're putting together for a lot of what we're doing in terms of changing the lens on the focus of the company itself. I have so much content to deliver to you guys. So many great interviews I'm looking forward to and I hope you guys get to enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to step off from here because I actually got to get back to some edits. So peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if anybody ever wants to hit me up, um, emails always available. Just hit me up in a comment. We'll chat. Peace. <laughs>